Hello students and welcome to another science online class. This is the video number two for the topic light and optics, specifically mirrors and lenses. Now, one of the application of plain mirrors or generally mirrors is this scenario. So, ambulance is often written in very large mirrored text so that drivers see the world the right way around in their rear view mirror. So this is to facilitate faster movement of the, um, the ambulance vehicle carrying serious and emergency patients. Another application of plane mirrors is kaleidoscopes. So it is an optical instrument with two or more reflecting surfaces tilted to each other in an angle so that one or more parts of an object on one end of the mirrors are regular symmetrical pattern when viewed from the other end. So, sisiglip ka dito, and then may kita mo yung ganitong pattern in this end. Yan. So, that's how we make our kaleidoscopes. Now, in plain mirrors, we have what we call the object distance or DO. So, it means the distance from object to mirror, while image distance or DI, distance from mirror to image. Now, we have what we call the lateral magnification. So, when you say lateral magnification, which is represented by big letter M, this is the ratio of image height to object height. So, image height. Y with an apostrophe divided by Y is equivalent to negative image distance and distance of the object. Okay? Or distance image or image distance divided by distance of the object. Now, if the M or lateral magnification is positive, it means that it is virtual and and the uh, and the image is upright. If it's negative, okay, it is real image and inverted. Now let's discuss the spherical mirrors. So convex mirror bulges outward to the incident rays, while convex mirror, I'm sorry, concave mirror curves inward in the direction of the incident rays. As you can see. A mirror is a part of a smooth and highly polished reflecting surface. So, commonly used mirrors are plain mirrors. Now, when we say spherical mirrors, this is part of a spherical reflecting surface. There are two types of spherical mirrors. First is convex, second is concave. In terms of concave mirror, okay, concave mirror has a reflecting surface that caves inward. Okay, concave mirrors converge light to one prime focus point. Therefore, they are also called converging mirrors. They are used to focus light. So the image formed by a concave mirror varies in size depending on the position of the object with respect to the mirror. Well, yeah. So while convex mirror... Okay, it's a curved mirror for which the reflective surface bulges out towards the light source. Convex mirror reflect light outwards or diverging light rays, and therefore they are not used to focus light. The image is virtual, erect, and smaller in size than the object, but gets larger in terms of maximum up to the size of the object as the object comes toward the mirror. Such mirrors are also called diverging mirrors. So for video number three, we will discuss the ray diagram for every spher spherical mirrors.